you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, Man, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they don't follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shot, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. Who you think made everything? 
The slaves are the slave master. You think the slave master invented everything? No. The slaves to make their slavery easier, more comfortable. A special people, special like everybody who fills up your stadiums. All these stadiums in here get filled up by blacks and Latinos. Why? Because we better at everything than everybody else. We smarter. Go ahead. Come on. God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto God's self. That sound real possessive. That don't sound like God loved everybody the same. It sounds like God got a special people all to himself. Right. That's what the Bible say. Right. Don't listen to that crooked pastor in that Christian church. Right. He lied to you. When that pastor tell you that everybody's equal, it don't say that in the Bible. Read it again. Come on, God. God have chosen thee to be a special people all to himself. All to himself. That don't sound like equality. Right. That's what the Bible say. That's right. Christianity been lied. That's the religion of our oppressor. Right. The same person who requires justice for itself, but whenever something happens to blacks and Latinos, oh, we gotta forget about it. We gotta forget about slavery. We, while, meanwhile, they celebrate the Holocaust and 9-11 every year. They want justice for themselves. They still locking them old Nazis to this day. Right. But they say forget about slavery. What you'll find out is our oppressor doesn't care about anybody's pain but their own. Go ahead. Oh, God. God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above. Equal to. Above. Equal to. Above. They say above. That what? Not equal to. We say what? Above. We supposed to be working at everybody's job and not have everything, anything for ourselves. What is that? Above. Above what? All people. All people. We're not supposed to be serving under no people. That's right. We're not supposed to be working at nobody's job. That's right. They're supposed to be serving us. Satan, right. go for the stuff. Right. Come on, come. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Bible say that blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, right. like this book says, is above all people on the face of the earth. That's right. They don't say nothing about equal. They don't say nothing about they should have all their businesses in our neighborhoods. Right. And we working for them. Why they disrespect us in our own neighborhoods? They don't say nothing about us not having power to stop them from gentrifying our neighborhoods. The Bible say we above all them. Drop that. Give me Romans 9 and 15. But we're going to keep bringing out God. God ain't never say he love everybody. And it's, we just read it in the Bible that God got a favorite people above everybody else. You can go in that Christian church and think you know what you know and look around and say, oh, it goes like this in the world. Why? Because this world is wicked. Why is it wicked? Because our oppressor rules the world. And they do everything and allow everything that God said don't do. Drugs are legal these days. Why? Because our oppressor said you could do it. You could kill your own baby these days. Why? Because our oppressor said you could do it. A little kid can say, I want to be this sex or that sex. Because our oppressors said they could do it. A grown 62-year-old man could say, I identify as a 13-year-old. And why he could do that? Because our oppressors said he could do it. That's right. You see what I'm saying? A man can be with a man. A woman can be with a woman. Why? Because our oppressor would let them do it. And that pastor is going to marry them in that same Christian church that was ran and built by our oppressor. Our, the, our, the old person, the slave master, is the devil that the Bible speaks of, and they do everything opposite of God. Why they say, in God we trust? You don't trust in God. If you trust in God, you would do what he say, and trust that he would come on his promises. But I'm going to tell you what he promised, though, you're going to go into slavery. That's what it's saying in this book right here. Our old person going into slavery. I trust in God, and God will put y'all in slavery. Got that? Go ahead. This is the book. Of Romans chapter 9 verse 15 For he said to Moses I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy Yeah, you going gonna, gonna to listen to this and say Well God's not being, what you going to say God's a liar, he ain't fair God said he had mercy on who he want to have mercy on you, you don't like it, take it up with God Go ahead Come with God And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. I ain't even gonna have compassion on whoever he feel like. 
God can go and do what he want to do because he's God. In this Bible, God has a favorite people. He said he's going to have mercy on who he feel like. Go ahead. Oh, God. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth. So it don't matter what you do. You can will and serve God all you want. You can, you can, you can jump around, do cartwheels, try to impress God. God picks the people that he wants to have mercy on and compassion on. Drop that. Give me the book of second act. Give me the book of Amos. Chapter th chapter 3, verse 1. God got a favor in everything. Hey, Black Latino, you Native American. I'm going to show you what God said. You are his family and nobody else. In the Bible, God claimed the people and called him his family. And said he don't know nobody else. We about to bring it out. Don't listen to me. We're going to bring it right out in the Bible where God said, I got a family in the earth and I don't know no other family. It's a certain people that God loves in this Bible. And the Bible ain't talking to nobody else. You keep missing that Christian, Christian pastor. This is why we serve everybody. Because we not listening to what God said and you listening to the pastor. But you know the pastor works for our oppressor. The pastor know if he tell you the truth about LGBTQ community, they all going to leave. If he tell you the truth, women that you can't leave your husband, husband that you can't leave your wife, he know that we going to leave the church. And that's his money. But you'll find us that pastor is a stinking, greedy pig. And he does not care about you. That's because right. he won't tell you the truth. These men back here, we're going to tell you the truth. We're going to show you more love than that pastor. Go ahead. Okay. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Now, this is, but once again, this is the Lord sending somebody to talk to the children of Israel, and he's giving a warning right here. It's, this is being spoken against Israel, which is a warning to Israel. Israel, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. That's what the Bible, that's who the Bible describes as the Jews. That's who the Bible describes as Israel. Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, God is giving a warning. Here it go. Come, come. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. The Bible ain't talking to nobody else. And I'm just going to keep bringing that out. We're going to keep bringing it out. It's not going to name no other people. Every time we read the Bible, every verse is talking to Israel. It's never talking to the whole world. Go ahead. Come, come. Against the whole family. The whole what? The whole family. The, the Israel is what? The whole family, Israel is God's family. If you black, Latino, Native American, God calls you family. It's right here. That's in right. the Bible. That's right. It's right here. If you read this Bible, you'll know that we the special people. We shouldn't be serving nobody. Go ahead. Go, God. Oh, children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. You know, the Lord right now is known as the God that brought Israel from out of bondage in, in, in so-called Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Egypt is the Greek word uh, uh, Egyptos for bondage. God brought us out, Black Latino Native American, God brought us out of bondage. Just like, and that's what he's known for. Just like he's going to be known after he destroys America and brings out of, bring us out of America as the God that freed us from America. From the bondage of America. So much bondage that people we walking around here thinking we not in captivity. That's why the Bible calls us the lost sheep. We don't even know we in captivity. But God gonna free us from this place like he did Egypt. Go ahead. Oh God. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Hold up. Hold up. God love everybody. Read that again. Go oh God. You only. Have I known of all the families of the earth? God just said that he only know one family of all the families of the earth. Now what part of God loves everybody is that? Once again, you're going to find out that all of these religions out here, because the Bible ain't no religion. If you're teaching the Bible like a religion, then you've been taught wrong. The Bible is a history book. 
of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's real life. It ain't no fairy tales. Get no state talk to Eve. Christ was born from a man and a woman. It ain't no fairy tales. And if you if you run around talking about anything other than that, the Lord is going to see you about it. This ain't no religion. God said he only know one family out of all the families of the earth. And we're going to keep bringing it out how it's Israel, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. In this Bible, everybody want to hold claim to it. Everybody want to hold claim to it and say they's God's special people. But in this Bible, it's only talking to blacks, Latino, Native Americans. Go ahead. Go right. God. Therefore, I will punish you. We're going to do what? I will punish you. Just like a good father. Just like a good father. You, you see your kids out, out in the street, I mean, out the, out the play, and you tell them to stay out the street, don't be throwing rocks. I better see you when I look outside, and you and you look outside, you don't see your child, and you go around the corner and they in the street throwing rocks. Are you gonna punish all the children or your child? Well, God is saying, we are the only family he knows of all the families, therefore I will do what? Oh God, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Not everybody. Why? Because God don't love everybody. If you don't punish, if you don't punish your child, you don't love him. You punish him to show him better. God said he gonna punish Israel, not everybody. Because he don't care about everybody. Right. Nowhere in this book does he say he, he talking or cares about anybody else but blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. Got, got him on that? Therefore. I will punish you for all your iniquities. Get me, get me the book of uh, second address, 6 and 54. We're going to bring it out. God got a chosen people. And you might try to say, well, we all come from one. We all one blood. Everybody got the same blood pumping through their veins. No, we don't. We don't got the same blood pumping through our veins. It's a difference. God about to show right here how it's a difference in between us. For y'all who try to say we all one people, no, and it's gonna show right now that God don't look at us as one people. You can listen to that Christian pastor all you want. You can try to be all all the save the world uh, 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 thing missions that you want. Make up your own philosophy if you want. But God said, we are different. Go ahead. Oh, God. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Hold on, before we go to get to that part, it said, after these, Adam also. So that means there was somebody before Adam. For you, Adam and Eve was the only people on the planet uh, uh, thumpers. Right. It says, after these. That means there were other people before Adam. Go ahead, start there from the top. Since they didn't Go, go. And after these, Adam also. Adam also. Whom thou made Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. See, there you go. They like, oh yeah, see, we all come from Adam. I know what you Christians say. We all come from Adam. We all love. God love everybody. Three from the top. Now we're going to get back to the top and show you that God favors us. So we should have our babies. That's why we got the sign right there to warn our people to don't abort our babies. Damn right. that devil come over here and have a problem with what her people put out here. Right. Go ahead. Oh God, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. See, the Bible said we all come from Adam. I know you Christians like, yeah, but y'all talking about somebody special. But yeah, it's just saying we all come from Adam, but go ahead. Go with God. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. A anybody know uh, English when it says and? The word and means it's something different. So it's saying we all come from Adam and the people also who God has chosen. So God is making a difference, a difference between 
everybody than the people that he chose. And nowhere in this Bible is it talking about God favors anybody except for black, Latino, Native Americans. And in the whole book, everybody's saying, I'm black. Not meant black people in this book. Go ahead. Don God, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. For whose sake? Our sake. We're talking to Israel, blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Bible said, God said he made a difference between everybody in the world that came from Adam and the chosen people that he chose. And he said, what again about them? Don God, because thou madest the world for our sakes. God said he made the world for our sakes. We supposed to be ruling the world. We not supposed to be working in all these stores under all these heathens. We not supposed to be having our neighborhoods gentrified by these heathens. And if you don't know what a heathen is, because they don't teach in the Christian church, that's everybody except for Israel. In the Bible, a heathen is everybody except for Israel. And blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you are eating Israel. Everybody else God calls a heathen. Go ahead. Go on, God. As for the other people, which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Hold on, hold on. Now let's get back to the distinction part. First it said everybody comes from Adam. It, and the people that God chose. Now it said for the other people that come from Adam. See, it's making a distinction between God's chosen and everybody else. You got blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. It's making a distinction between the Arabs. Making a distinction between the white man. It's making a distinction between the African. It's making a distinction between the East Indian. Every people. Did I leave anybody out of Asia? It's making a, a distinction. Go ahead. Go, go. As for the other people, which also come from Adam, thou hast said they are nothing. They are what? Nothing. God said that every other people, except for blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, are what? Nothing. What? Nothing. They ain't nothing. Keep going. Come on, come. But be like unto spittle. Just like the, just about the corner, corner of your lips, when, when, uh, when your mouth dry, that little bit of spit that ain't going nowhere. God called every other nation, except for blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, spittle. Yeah. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Falling, falling, to rise no more. Falling, 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 to rise no more. I'm taking a look in the streets. It's real every day what I see. We constantly searching for peace. My people just wanna be free. We tired of the cell blocks and the bullshit. That lying nigga in the pulpit. Same shit but a different day. 